Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite and welcome back to Pokemon Bird Call. Pokemon Bird Call. How do you even pronounce the word Pokemon? Because everybody pronounces it differently and I don't know if there's um... I guess, I guess whatever the anime has to say would be the canonical pronunciation and I haven't watched that in years so I wouldn't know. TM48 Poison Jab. Let's see. Poison Jab is a Krogunk thing. And since... Especially since... TMs are infinite use in this game, I don't feel guilty about overriding the other poison type TM that I taught to Dio, which would be Sludge Bomb. There we go. Today, thank you very much. I guess it takes I guess it just takes a little bit of time to process the uh, the information on the disc, you know? Let's see. I also would like a repel, which I think is what I entered the menu for. Because I now own repels. Okay. And this is the other side of that, uh, the crates that I saw the last time I was down here and coming up from the other place. Let's see. Oh, that's another cell battery. Thank you very much. And if I, if I keep going down the hallway, that's going to be the, uh, well, that's a Zapdos. That's going to be the real uh, destination for this, isn't it? So I'm just going to take a detour up here. Find the magnet. Do I have anybody who learns electric mirrors? I have the uh, I have Joltik, but I think Joltik has the lucky egg. Does Joltik have the lucky egg? Joltik has the lucky egg. Okay. That can wait. And that's a scary looking machine. I don't have too many repels, so I don't want to waste too much time. Okay, I've seen I've seen that come up in both the fire dungeon and here. And uh, that is flapping around in the wind. Oh, neat. Okay, so if I defeat the birds, I can get the feathers and I can, um, I can go into, like, secret areas or something. I can get behind that. What's this? That is nothing. You would think there would be a, uh, control panel or something that you can screw with in that, in that, uh, machine over there, but I guess not. TMO2 Dragon Claw. I'm pretty sure nobody on my team can learn Dragon Claw. I'm gonna need more- I'm going to need more repels at this rate. That's a Pokeball with... TM4994 Rock Smash, okay. There were a couple of rocks here and there that I was wondering if, were if they were going to respond- that's a Registeel. If they were going to respond to, uh, to Rock Smash. Wild Charge. Which would be a good move if Joltik was, uh, was physically based. Hi! Okay, good. That's not going to be an auto battle. Let me do this real quick, just in case. It's not like there's permadeath in Pokemon, but it can never hurt. Let's see. First, I'm going to paralyze you. And, um, oh, 37. All right, Registeel of, of the uh, the Reggie Trio is probably the least offensive, so Registeel is the one who I'm least concerned about, um, about killing my face. So I'm going to... The Iron Defense just uh, made made a Earthquake from the two things on my team that have Earthquake. Sounds a lot less lucrative. But I'm going to see- oh, this is not going to go very well. Or maybe I want to speed this whole section up. Because this is going to take like seven or eight uh, hits of Thunderbolt to, uh, to get down to, to the red. I appreciate that you've been paralyzed like four times in a row. But Thunder Punch, Thunder Punch isn't going to do anything. Okay, that actually did a lot considering that it's not very effective and Registeel's um, offenses aren't that great. I want to say they're both 75. Registeel's another one that I had way too much fun in with competitive. It's, uh, oh, pleasant. It's never, I think, uh, ascended above underused, hey. but I've, uh, I've had to take on Ubers and be quite happy about doing so. Earthquake, I guess. If I... oh. Okay, so never mind the Iron Defense. If I kill you, am I going to get the, uh... Am I going to get, like, a Steel Feather or something? No? Oh, that's silly. Well, hmm. Alright, I probably should have been cued into the fact that there is a Reggie in this room by the fact that the Reggie music is playing in this room. Hindsight, I guess. Wait, there's an Altaria in here? I know that there's a crack in the wall somewhere in this ice cave, and I came back looking for it. Altaria. 
I don't especially feel like catching you, but um, I could uh, the experience would be welcome. Hmm, I'm getting the uh, let's see. You're only level 26, so I'm not too worried. Especially if you use Iron Tail on an, an electric type. But I'm getting the feeling that if I just come back to places after a certain point, I'm going to be finding these encounters. Um, there was that one place that looked somewhat suspicious in the, the fire cave. And um, there was the Drift Blim in the electric one. I don't know what exactly triggers the, uh, the things to spawn. Um, you were definitely not here earlier, I would have noticed. That wasn't that much experience. Somebody got a level. Oh, Dwebble's evolving, which is good because uh, the difference between Crustle and Dwebble is uh, pretty significant. Thank you very much. Um, that was essentially free experience. I'm going to want to heal, aren't I? Where's my healing items? Potions! Wait, I have super potions. Which would probably more be more appropriate right now. 90 HP compared to like... What did you have when I caught you? Like 58? That's pretty nice. I'm gonna keep looking for the uh, the spot on the wall. Here! Okay, yes, the repellent effect were off later. Uh, I do not have an infinite supply of those. Let's see if... I don't know if this is going to work, but... Uh, reusable TMs make this much less risky than they would have been in uh, previous days. Dio might be able... I'm, hmm, I'm not even going to override anything. I'm not even going to replace it with anything if it doesn't work out here. Uh, Aerial Ace. Okay, so it, they're not exactly the same. The 60, 100, uh, 20, 35 versus 60, indefinite, 15. For most intents and purposes, uh, there is no difference between 100 accuracy and always hits because, please, who uses evasion? Let's see. Let's get rid of Aerial Ace. Today, all right, there we go, Rock Smash. I can't use that. Oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and give that ice puzzle one more shot. I really wanna. There has to be an Articuno in here at the end of that ice puzzle, and I would like to, if not catch it, I would like. Right. Are you leveling with me? Because you were definitely level 23s when I came through here the first time. Alright, there is almost definitely an Articuno behind here. And, oh yes, I remember. There are some sections in, in this uh, puzzle where you can just get stuck in a loop. And go around in circles forever if you don't, uh... I mean, it's not like you're trapped, it's not like a soft lock, but... If you, uh... If you wanted to, you could go in circles for quite a while. Uh... I don't know how I did that, but I ended up getting through it. Okay. That was a... Uh... That was mostly guessing. That would have been a lot more satisfying if I could have figured out how to do it on my... Like, without just guessing. <clears throat> That's not the game's fault. Um, Ultra Ball. Okay. That may or may not come in handy later on. Let's see. Uh, how long have I been recording this video for? 15 minutes? I don't know how, I don't know what that's going to be reduced to after I spend that much time uh, goofing around in the ice puzzle, but this is an Articuno. Ah, uh, not now. Let's see. I might as well save. Let's see, um... Alright, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of what the, uh, what these feathers here might be used for when I defeat these birds. And I'm going to, uh... Let's see, I'm gonna worry about that later. There have been... There was that one interaction somewhere in the, uh, the electric area, the, the factory, where... This will make things easier. Yes, Roost, with your health full. Um, where the, the fire feather, like, melted a hole in the wall or whatever. Or melted a circuit and opened the door or something like that. And I'm wondering if there will be something similar to, uh, for that crack in the wall in this area. And if there's going to be something similar in, um, I don't know, with the geysers in the, the fire cave. We'll see. That sucked. 
Yeah, so we'll use next Pokemon. Who? Dio. Your inaugural battle as a Crustle will come against the Legendary. Alright. Oh, thanks. Your inaugural Rock Slide as a Crustle, or as any form, will come against the Legendary, and you will fail it. Let's see. That's, um, that's four times super effective. I wasn't sure if it would kill because you're seven levels stronger than me, but I'll take it. Articuno is more specially defensive than physically defensive. I don't think I'm going to be learning Slash. Um, let's see. That's the, uh, the cool feather. Wonderful. I don't know if anybody's going to want to, me to explain my having... Is it possible to get out of here? Oh, all right. I was going to say, that would be a rather dumb soft lock. I don't know if anybody's going to want me to explain my having these stealth rock moves since it doesn't seem like there's going to be like any huge boss battle against a trainer with a team of Pokemon in this game uh, where I would benefit from using stealth rock. And even if I, even if there was, it's a... Uh, in-game trainers tend to not switch out as much as uh, competitive trainers. Um, I'm not, I may or may not keep it on forever. I probably won't keep it on forever. Um, if, uh, if something better comes along. But that was my, uh, that was my reasoning for having it in the first place. Can I, can I use you as a shortcut? Yes, thank you. Make this much easier. Okay. Back to the, uh, back to the electric, electric, it's not a cave. Back to the factory for me. All right, you know what? Two things. One, this is going to be faster, uh, so I'll do it first. What's in the Pokemon? Because I haven't been in here the entire game. All right, are you just stocking shelves, sir? Incenses? There's no, there's no breeding uh, in this game, is there? There's no, unless, unless there's even more that opens up later. Uh, there's no, um, wait, I didn't see that. Fresh water, wait, fre hey, 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 hey. Someone mentioned fresh water in the, uh, in the, the mountain. Can I use that on the, I'm gonna buy like five of these. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to the fire cave. And there's a slight delay between when, like, the N and drink and the K and drink comes up and it's a little weird. Uh, Calm Mind, Roar, Toxic, Hidden Power, Taunt, Light Screen, Protect, Safeguard, Frustration, Return, Double Team, Reflect, Aerial Ace, Torment, Rest, Track, Thief, Round, Deck, and Voice, and Cancel. Which is good because I was running out of oxygen there. Alright, those are all the TMs that I'm not interested in. Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball. Okay, so you just got a, uh, you've just got an expanded inventory compared to the vendors out on the streets. Um, my next destination then is the Fire Caves, but first... Do you have anything to say? Okay, um, wait, you're gonna give me free money. I didn't read a word of that except for the part where you gave me free money. Okay, something about saving lives. The birds didn't seem to be doing anything other than just sitting there and I seem to just be picking on them. Which doesn't seem entirely fair, and... Okay. I don't know if the Pokemon in the front of my party gets more experience from the po than the Pokemon in the back. Bug Keeper Birdie? Bug Catcher Brad. Okay. Words. Alliteration, rather. That was productive. Uh, this particular Dio is now evolving. That bug catcher was definitely not there before. Um, I think I will take that as a sign that as I uh, as I get stronger, I don't think I passed any points in the store unless you count fighting the um, fighting the birds. But after I should I should definitely uh, do a little bit of backtracking and see if there are new things to find in these areas, because uh, trainers, experience, items, hidden rooms, that sort of thing. Um, 
And, uh, optional- no, no, no. Hey, I said fine. Make me wait. And also, like, the Drift Blim and Altaria and whoever else I happen to come to come across. I think at this point, most of my money has gone towards... Repels? I have one of you. So, the Cold Feather chilled the steam. Okay, so... That's a ghost gem. So that is not what the fresh water is for. If I were to go, I don't want to walk into the lava. Can I cool the lava? Flying gem. Um, what else is, oh, come on. This is mildly annoying in that if you want to go, if you, if you go uh, left immediately at the bottom of this ladder, your only way out is to go right, which will take you back up the ladder. It's not a big deal, but. Um, Maybe think about that if you're making games. Small oversight. Um, oh, wait a minute. Which one of these ladders was here before? I think this ladder down was here before. This was not. And if it was, I wasn't paying attention. It's a Pokeball. I am suspicious that that is not the only thing in this room. Crustle might have a use for that, since Sandstorm raises the, uh, the special defense of rock types by 30%. But, okay. I don't know if that ladder was just here earlier and I didn't see it, or if it actually just appeared. Hmm. Is that a charcoal for fire-type moves? Stardust. Okay, that was, a. Uh, that wasn't what I had in mind when I said that that is not the only thing in this room, but it'll work, I guess. And there is a Volcarona up there, so indeed. And I can just keep waving the Cool Feather around. Uh, indeed, there is a, a special encounter in this area. Not a story event like I predicted, but I'll, uh, I'll take the victory in that I was able to correctly guess that there was more to this room uh, later on than there was the first time I came here. And I haven't even been looking at what I was picking up. I think it's been mostly gems. The Cool Feather is infinite use, right? Like, I'm not wasting it here? I hope so. Fairy gem. Okay, and I see that Velcarona is just a... Uh, Kind of, kind of wandering around over here, which just makes me feel even worse about uh, about murdering it with a Kressel of of type uh, Rock Slide because you're four times weak to Rock. But I'm gonna do it anyway because I want the experience. This is a uh, who's who's legendary music is this? Is this the Lake Trio music? There was the Altaria, the Drip Limb, and now the Volcarona. You're gonna use Overheat. Because Volcarona is fast and Crustle is slow and I forgot. Alright, well that makes quick work of you. The intro barely even finished playing. To the song. I'll take the experience. Um, nothing as a reward except for have, having the opportunity to catch a Volcarona. Which I respect and I am not interested in right now. Let's see. There is, um, there is the other half of this cave though. In fact, it's probably more like three quarters of this cave because that wasn't a very big area. Um, oh yes, random encounters. I might as well just go and use the cool feather gun. I mean, you, cool feather gun. I was reading the text, but use the cool feather on the rocks. So can we like placate this entire volcano just by waving the cool feather around? Fighting gem. The gems aren't my favorite, although the uh, the number of them that I'm picking up in here is a uh, not bad, and I will be more inclined to use them if I know that there are a lot of them. Uh, if I, if I leave the area completely and re-enter, will it reset? Will I be able to do this indefinitely? I'm guessing not, because that would just be broken. And it's basically infinite money. Although, whoever has the patience to do infinite money exploits for a fan game, I can't say. Uh, Dragon Gem, I don't even have any Dragon type moves. There's probably a Stardust in every one of the craters somewhere, right? No? I guess not. Alright, I think at this point in the game, most of my money has been going to buying repels. Which is how things usually go in Pokemon games for me. Actually... In, in Pokemon get in regular Pokemon games, you usually get a little bit more money than this, so maybe that's not true. <clears throat> this was where Moltres was, right? Yes, this is where Moltres was. There's nothing really here for me because I've already cleared it out. And um, the other the other door on the mountain was gated off by uh, by rocks with steam coming out of them. Or no, they were just steam. It wasn't it wasn't rocks. There's just these little uh, puffs of gas. So I can come through here now, which is cool. 
Let's see. I've been recording for about a half an hour this video. I'm gonna... I think I'll go to the end of this room and leave it off. That's an ice gem, ironically enough. I don't know why the ice gem didn't put the, uh, the steam out, but... Whatever you say, game. Water gem. What else? What's gonna be at the bottom of this, I wonder? Okay, so you're a trainer, and I think instead of getting to the end of the room and finding whatever's here for me, probably... What? Your guess is as good as mine. Probably Reggie Rock, right? Leafstone? There's nothing that evolves by Leafstone in here, is there? I don't think I saw anything that evolved by Leafstone. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to be doing this again. I'm going to end this off before I just keep going. My name is Dragonite. This has been Pokemon Bird Call. Links in the description. My explanation of where you can find this game is getting shorter by the video. And I will see you all later.